Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a python program to count how many ovals are present in a given string. So to write this program first we need to take the input from the user. So the input of this program is a string. So to store the user entered input first I need to take a variable. I'll take str1 that is my input string name and here to take the input from the user I'll use input function. And here I'll write a message, enter the string and here I'm using python3 and in python3 by default this input function will take input as the string value and here also we want a string right that's why no need to change the type of the input. Next we have our input with us now. Next we need to count how many ovals are present in the given string. So for that first we need to know which alphabets are called as ovals. In the English alphabets A, E, I, O, U are called as ovals, right? So first I'll store that in a variable. I'll take variable name as ovals and here I'll take A, E, I, O, U. Here I'll take ovals in the lowercase letter. I won't take the ovals in the uppercase. Because of that here I'll convert my input to lower using lower method. So what I am doing is first we are asking the user to enter this string, right? We'll store that in the str1. Next, I'll convert the entered string to lowercase. If you want, you can skip this step. As I said in the previous tutorial while explaining about the OL program, here user can enter the string in the lowercase, uppercase or in both. So for my convenience, I'm converting that input to lowercase using lower method. And we are storing that lowercase uh, string input in the variable str1 lower. And that's why here we can just take a e i o in the lowercase. If you are skipping this step, then you need to take the oval in the uppercase letter also here. Right? So now we have oval. Next, we need to count how many ovals are present in the given string. To keep the count of oval in the string, we need a variable. So I'll take my variable name as count and initially I'll take count as zero. Initially count is zero. Count of the oval in the string is zero. Next we need to go through each letter of string. So we need to take the letter of string one by one and we need to compare that with the ovals. Whether that alphabet is present in the oval. If it is S that means we need to increase the count. If not I need to do nothing. Right? To go through each alphabet of string, I'll use the for loop. So I'll take for i in str1 lower. Here for example, my input is hello. Then it will convert that to lowercase. So we'll get str1 lower as hello in the lowercase. Next, I need to go through each alphabet of hello, right? First I need to take h. I need to compare that whether that is oval or not. Next I need to go through e. I need to check whether e is a oval or not. So to go through each alphabet of the string, I'm using this for loop. Here i is a variable name which will indicate the each character or each alphabet of the string. Next here I'll use if condition and I'll check the i. i is nothing but alphabet of string is present in the oval. Oval is a string. So i in so here in is an operator which will check whether i is present in oval or not. Alphabet of that entire string is present in ovals. If s yes, it will return true. If not it will return false. So if s yes, that is nothing but I need to increment count by 1. So count is equal to count plus 1. If not if this condition become false do nothing go to the next alphabet right. So no need to take the else part here. For example, as I said, if our string is hello, first i value will be h. It will check whether h is present in the ovals. No. So it won't do anything. It will go to the for loop again and i value becomes e. And it will check whether e is present in the ovals. Yes. So it will increment the count. Okay. It will work like this. So we are done with the program. Next, we need to print the count. So count of ovals in the given string here count right now we are done with the program let's execute this enter the string so hello 
आई लेंट अ हेलो सॉरी हियर ओ वेल्स स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक हेलो सो काउंट ऑफ ओ वेल्स इन द गिवन स्ट्रिंग इज टू हियर इन द हेलो वी कैन सी ई एंड ओ दीज टू आर ओ वेल्स सो काउंट इज टू यू कैन टेक अ सेंटेंस ऑल्सो हेलो माई नेम इज अमूल्या सो काउंट ऑफ ओ वेल इन द गिवन स्ट्रिंग इज एट सो टोटल काउंट इज एट टोटल काउंट इज सिक्स हियर टू ई ई ओ ई फोर प्लस टू सिक्स एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट दैट ओ वेल्स यू कैन हियर प्रिंट आई वैल्यू इफ यू प्रिंट आई वैल्यू इट विल प्रिंट दैट इट विल हेल्प यू टू काउंट E and O are the vowels, and the count is two. Okay, so in this way you can write this program. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.